Michelle from Cup of Zest and Valentine's Day is here. While other people are worried about what to make that special someone, why don't we spread the love and make these cute little meringue heart cookies for all of our friends. For this recipe, I was inspired by those cute conversation hearts. Did you know that they've actually been around since 1902? They're such a fun tradition. Why don't we update that with these meringue cookies? So let's start by separating some eggs. Meringue's really easy. You just need a few ingredients and some patience. All right, so our egg whites are going to go into our stand mixer. There we go. And we're also going to add a quarter teaspoon of cream of tartar. So the cream of tartar acts as a stabilizer and it's gonna give us some really beautiful, nice, stiff meringues. So we've got our eggs and our cream of tartar in our stand mixer and we're gonna set this to low speed, medium low speed, until the eggs get nice and frothy. So today's recipe comes from this cookbook. It's the 1967 edition of the Betty Crocker's Hostess Cookbook. It has tons of great party ideas and recipes and my dear friend Brandy gave it to me. It has a very special place in my heart. So our egg whites are nice and frothy and we're gonna add in our super fine sugar. Up the speed to medium and uh, let it go. So now let's let our meringue come to a nice stiff peak which is gonna take about 15 minutes. So let's check this out and see if it's ready to go. Let's look at that. Perfect. So I'm gonna add some food coloring to this now. Let's get started. All right, let's do a couple drops. We're gonna do fuchsia. Ooh. And then some pink. This pink is the theme of the day. little guy. Alright, so we're just going to do a couple swirls and like fold this in really quickly. Just fold it in just a little bit so you get those nice stripes of color. Now we're going to go ahead and fill up our piping bag. And now let's start piping our hearts. So when you're forming these hearts, you wanna think about making two upside down raindrops that are just nestled side by side. Start with some firm pressure, and as you pull away, let up on that pressure. You got adorable swirled meringue hearts all of your friends will love. So our meringue hearts are piped out and ready to go into our 200 degree oven for an hour. And when that hour is up, we're gonna turn the oven off so they can cool completely. So it's been about an hour and we are going to turn that oven off so our meringue can dry out. Our meringue hearts are so cute. I bagged some up for my friends and now I'm gonna eat one. Happy Valentine's Day everyone. If you wanna make more retro recipes with me, make sure to subscribe below.